All right, now we're getting ready to start some pretty killer, intense keyword research, and you're going to see kind of the inner workings of how I do my research and the things that I like to track and accumulate, how I make some of the, uh, you know, the decisions on whether or not what keywords I'm going to use and for the product. Up to this point, we have, uh, let's take a look at our little layout here. We've done, gone through the ClickBank introduction. We've got our product picked out. Some of the things we're going to talk about now are very similar. Uh, and in fact, in this introduction area, the module one there, I kind of blew past the keyword selection and using the uh, ClickBank evaluator for the reason that really in and of itself, the keyword stuff is there's enough information here that it needs to be totally separate. I wanted to show you using it here to pick our product, right? But I couldn't go really in depth because like I said, this is a module all by itself because of everything that we're going to be talking about. You know what? Real quick, I hate to interject this here, but I want to show you something um, before we move on from the ClickBank thing. I wanted to bring up this uh, CB engine. If you can't think of a product, if you can't think of search terms to look at at the ClickBank marketplace, if you want like a real quick and easy way to find something, if you really don't care what you're promoting, you just want to promote something and make some money, come here where it shows, let's scroll down here, leave it to all categories, ranked in, click this drop down, do like the top five for all categories, right? And then order by gravity, descending, click search, and watch what you're going to get here. You're going to get a list in all the categories of the top five products on ClickBank with sorted by gravity. So the ones at the top are going to have the most gravity, and you can tell I've already looked at a few of these. Um, but for example, let's do industrial. Okay, we click on registry easy. 75% commission, and by the way, this is they have a paid service here, but for what we need at this point, free is perfectly fine. Now, that that's the first product I checked out, and it meets our criteria. Gravity over 100, and you get $30.45 per sale, again, over, uh, over the $30 mark. That being said, I, I want to kind of come out of the closet here, so to speak. I do fudge on these numbers sometimes. If if there's a pretty good-looking product and it's got a gravity of like 97 or if it's got a payout, maybe $25, I'll, I'll test it. I'll see if it'll work out. But those are good, like a hard and fast rule of thumb. If it's over 100 for gravity and it's over $30 for the commission, then it's a great deal. I just wanted to tell you about this resource. I forgot to do it in the last module. But now what we're going to move on to is some more intense keyword research. We, in the first module, we did some kind of, uh, you know, groundbreaking stuff, enough information for us to pick a product that we want to try to promote. Now we need to go a step further and get down to the real, uh, you know, the nuts and bolts of that particular offer and what is going to allow us to market or outmarket other affiliates. Here's a layout of this particular process. Use your favorite keyword tools. You can use SpyFu. I'm going to show you uh, an example of that probably later on in, in this module. Word Tracker, um, Market Samurai, even Keyword Spy. Any tool that you like, even just Google's tool, okay, Google's uh, keyword tool. You can use any tools that you want, I even combine a lot of them most of the time and compile the results together. But then what we're going to do after you get a huge list is evaluate and sort the keywords. Because like for me, if you use multiple tools and you compile everything, you want to eliminate duplicates. Um, you want to try to sort based on the traffic that you're going to get. Because what we're going to end up with, I might do like maybe start out with 200 keywords. 
but then I'm going to filter that down to where it's only like a dozen that I'm actually utilizing. And I want to make sure that with that dozen, I can generate about 500 clicks a day. That's what I'm looking for. Now, you might be shocked that I said I'm going to end up using a dozen keywords, but let me tell you this. The days of long tail pay-per-click are way gone. Quality score is where it's at. And what we're going to have to do in the next module you're going to see is we're going to create a landing page for every single ad group that we've got. So if I've got, you know, 5,000 keywords, I might have 500 ad groups. I don't want to do a landing page for 500 ad groups. Because if you, well, if you don't do it, your quality score is going to stink and your bids are going to be crazy high. So the only way to get a good quality score is by having a landing page and a site and an ad that are all keyword focused. And uh, that necessitates creating a landing page for each ad group. And then you're going to have similar ads, similar keywords within an ad group. Maybe just, could be just a few keywords that are in any particular ad group. Then what Google sees when you do that is that, hey, this is relevant to, you know, the ad is relevant to the search term and the landing page is relevant to the search term. So they give you a good quality score and your bids go down, meaning you get to pay less for being in better positions. After we decide uh, we've got all of our keywords and we sort and we're going to pick actually which ones we're going to use, then we're going to go back to the ClickBank evaluator because this is a, just a spreadsheet that I'm giving you, because this will allow us to get more accurate results on really what we're going to probably, uh, you know, end up, whether we should try to push and really pursue. You know, we've already picked this product, but we want a little bit better um, understanding of what to expect from it, right? And after we have fine-tuned and done a lot more research, uh, and the reason that I don't do this research at the very beginning is because at the beginning we're trying to get four or six products that we think will work, and then we're trying to quickly determine which ones we want to really pursue. Cut out the ones that definitely can't make it, right? And that's how, what we took care of in Module 1. Well, now we've got the one, maybe one or two, that we we are going to go ahead and go for. So we want to know what to expect right up front and we've drilled down, we've got some more keywords, we want to get a little bit more accurate data, and then we prepare to dominate that niche. If you get to this point with a product, then that's it. It's going to be tested, and more than likely, it's going to make you money. But you're going to see if it's really going to work, and you're going to know very quickly. You know, you might know in a day, you might know in two days. It just depends. But the reason that we're so careful in our selection is because to do this right, it does necessitate setting some things up. And we don't want to spend a whole bunch of time, you know, setting things up. And lo and behold, it's not going to work out for us. So my system, the reason my system is so good is it doesn't just focus on here is how you market an affiliate product. It focuses on here's how you pick a killer product and then market that killer product. And that's the step that most people miss. It's just like, you know, how can I, how can I market something? And they go grab something and it doesn't work. And then they don't know if their marketing is working. Well, there are some products on ClickBank. And I mean, there's hundreds of new products every day on ClickBank. There are some products that I don't care what kind of marketer you are. You're not going to make a lot of money at it. Because it just, you know, it, it's just not possible. Uh, you might get tons of returns. You know, you could you could market something into the stratosphere, like it's the best thing since sliced bread, but you'll get returns on it because your marketing way outperforms the actual product. What happens when we do that is we don't really make a lot of money. We spend a lot of time and effort in promoting something that's just not going to work. So by the time we're at this phase right here, we got a pretty good idea that this product is going to work out. Um, for action steps here, just one simple thing. Do your keyword research 
and build that list. Punch it into the ClickBank Evaluator so that you know what you're, you know, you know what to be ex expecting here. And then that list, we're ready for the next module where we actually create the landing page. Okay, so let me give you, uh, I tell you what, I'm going to make this a separate video. We'll go ahead and stop this video right here. In the next video, I am going to show you uh, how I build my list and how I go through and sort all the data, filter things out so that I'm dealing just with, you know, manageable chunks of it.